Hey guys, this is Wes, back with another Top 5 series. Um, let's see, the last video I just uploaded was the Top 5 Actresses. Now, I was going to do a Top 5 Actors, but when I was making my list, I realized that out of the five, three of them are musicians. <laughs> so, it's going to be like a mix of musicians and actors. It's all going to be male. So, let's go ahead and get right to it. With number five, which would be Sebastian Bach of Skid Row. Uh, he is the lead singer. Um, yeah, very nice guy. This was up in Tennessee at the Fanboy Expo last year. Um, yeah, he was just really cool. A thing that sucked, because I was in his line for about an hour. And then he didn't show up for another 20 minutes. But it was cool, because he kept like apologizing to like everybody like you know every single guy he just kept apologizing and you know it's just i don't know i just think that's real cool that's why he just made the list so but anyways really nice guy here's i got him the album skid row i mean it's got like three of the top hits that they ever made on this one album so um, not not the best autograph, but really awesome guy. I really I really enjoyed it. He was really awesome. Well, that one was number five. Let's go over here to number four. You might not know him. Um, so <laughs> the chicken. Um, his name's uh. So the actor I got his name's Michael Alcott. He um uh, want to see one of my favorite movies is um. The Devil's Rejects. So, um, he played the scene. Here's a, here's a picture of him. Let's see if it'll focus. Sorry for the glare. That's good enough. There you go. Yeah, he played a scene. He was like a redneck. And, um,. It was him, it was Michael Berryman, who, he's that one ugly looking dude that played in, uh, you know, the Hills Have Eyes. And then you got Ken, I want to say Ken Fourier, he's uh, the black guy that was in the movie. But um, there was a funny part, he was just buying chickens from him. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's just one of the funniest things, scenes i ever seen, it's just so funny. You guys gotta look it up. You know, they're talking about, you know, effing chickens and stuff like that. Which is why I got this. He had this at his table. I, you know, me and my friends, were we were talking back and forth on if we should get him or not. And I'm like, I don't know what to get for him. You know, so we went to his table. He had this lane there. So, you know, I just asked him and like, can you sign this? How much would this be? And he's like, um, you know, he goes, $15. I'm like, oh, man, that's great. And then I'm like, how much is the picture? He's like, oh, the picture's free. I'm like, oh, that's freaking cool. I just, I just like when he did that. It was just so awesome of him. He could have charged me another 10 bucks for a photo, but he said he's not trying to make money or anything like that. He just liked the fans. But anyways, he put Wes, Michael, Alcott. Which he was Daryl, and he says, um, "Don't f that chicken." <laughs> Just a real fun guy. And the funny thing is, he does Redbone. That's his comedian name. So, really cool dude. That one's number four. I'm gonna go up to number three, which is another actor, which would be Sid Haig. Here, let me see if we'll. This was at the Spooky Empire about two years ago. Um, really nice guy. Um, God bless him. He just passed away last year. Um, see, I wasn't planning on getting him at first. But, you know, I think somebody else canceled. So I had the money. But he was only charging like $10 each. So I couldn't pass it up. And, uh, so anyways, he had this photo at his booth, and 
Yeah, anyways, he had like a big freaking long table of just 8 by 10s And I want to at least both of Bill Mosley and him. I want at least the both of them on it. And I think this was the most... I think this was the best one out of all of them. But um, yeah, I go and I get it and I hand it over to him. And I guess he messed up and he got mad and crumpled up the 8 by 10 Anyways, I just like where he wrote to put two S on my way to hell. Here's his signature. But really awesome guy. He looks scary in person, but just an awesome dude. But um, yeah, that one's number three. I'm going to go ahead and come back down here to number two, which would be um, D. Snyder of Twisted Sister. He's the lead singer. Um really cool guy too um just i mean he's like i don't know he just was acting like he's one of your friends you know if that makes sense just really cool because like i said earlier you think they would be really snobby because they're all rock stars but he was just so down to earth it was so cool um here's a signature i got the stay hungry album which got two of his greatest hits on there Oh, uh, here it is. It says, Wes, stay blessed, brother. There's his signature. Really awesome dude. He was so cool. He liked the pink marker. He thought it was funny. But, yeah, really awesome guy. Really loved him. That was number two. So, we'll come back up here to number one, which is Alice Cooper. This was at the Spooky Empire last year. Um... Yeah, really awesome guy. Like, he's one of your friends. I mean, that that Spooky Empire was probably one of my favorites, like, of all time. I think I rank, like, Tennessee, that, that family expo, above it. But this this Spooky Con all together was just really cool. Um, I got three autographs from Alice. Adam signed the photo op. Um, come back down here. I don't know if you can see it. I choose the wrong marker, but had him sign the School's Out promo album. And then over here, he did some, uh, he had a wrestling appearance. So I had this printed up. Had it signed by Jake really earlier in the year. Then I decided to get him to sign it. This is from WrestleMania 3. Really cool. He really liked this photo. He was talking about Jake Snake, how he, like, how mean it was. So I just thought that was really cool. But he liked that. He liked the album. Um, I was originally just going to get those two autographs. But another buddy I was with, he had a poster signed. And he actually personalized it, which usually my rule is. I usually like to get two autographs from the person. One with at least one, like, you know, personalized. So I went back and got this signed, and he asked for my name, and so that was pretty cool of him. But yeah, real like it, like I said, just a really down to earth guy. And I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Um, excuse me. I think this is gonna be it for my celebrity videos. I'm kind of. Really nothing else I could do. Um, I think I'm going to start back up with the, the wrestling. So. You'll be seeing more wrestling videos. Um, don't know what I'm going to do next. Still trying to think. But it's definitely going to be wrestling. So. You guys stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys can like it. Subscribe. Comment. If you guys got any feedback. You know. Put it down below. I do appreciate it. Anyways, you guys have a good one. And I will see you guys later.